What's up everybody, back for another balloon tutorial. Right now we're gonna be twisting a reindeer, nice and simple, using the top print that I have. You can also use it as a bear if you wish to do so. But right now, I'm gonna use it as a reindeer. So the balloons that I'm gonna use, three plus a red marker, which I have pocketed over here on my left side, your right, my left. Uh, these are the balloons we're using. Um, I'm gonna use this blush for the antlers. Um, you see I got a lot of a balloon left over there. And for the brown, which is gonna be the body, um, look, I have uh, just a little bit left over on the end here. And we're not even gonna use all of that, okay? And so, and then the top print, of course. But we'll use this in a minute, all right? So let's go ahead and get started with our twisting. And I said this in another video, or the uh, Frankie video, if you haven't seen that one, um, I'll, I'll have it up. I'll make sure that, uh, you know, it's there at La Rock, so we'll try to make sure that it's over there for you guys as well. Uh, because, um, if you bought the printed balloon or you have it, you're not 100% sure how to use it, uh, this is what this video is gonna supplement, okay? And I'll I'll probably leave it up on my channel for a little bit, uh, that way you can go back and, and definitely have a point of reference there, but definitely wanna get it over to uh, the, the La Rocks website for you guys as well, okay? All right, so uh, let's go ahead and start with a couple of ears here. And they're about uh, three, probably three fingers is pretty good, actually. Don't wanna go overboard on the ears, because uh, otherwise we could end up looking like a, uh, a monkey or something, you know? So uh, about three fingers there, there we go. And then about four for the uh, legs. So I'm going right through the legs. Do another four for the body, and then I'm gonna go to a pinch twist there. And then we'll do last with another four. There we go, and we'll match that up, come right back up to the pinch twist. There we go. Look at that, just like that. We are already made it. And then if you want, this will definitely be up to you. You don't wanna leave this super long tail. So what you could do is, uh, if you want, you could do a little loop here on the end, and that could be like a cute little tail. See, I'm not going to uh, pull on this and try to, you know, pull on it and twist it. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this guy inside there. Same same place with the uh, tail or the legs that twist it in. And just make sure that it goes through one time at least. I'm, I'm saying, again, this is optional, not necessary. There we go. Let let that air leak out of there. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and hide that away inside there okay so you can definitely do that if you want you want to have like a little uh little cute tail uh but not necessary you can definitely pop that off and then you just be done with that okay i'm gonna go ahead and install the uh the the top print so remember when you get a top print inflate it a little bit there you go and give it a nice uh squeeze you don't have to necessarily tie it off but just give it a squeeze so you can maximize the print okay it definitely it will expand when you switch on it a little bit all right so what I'm gonna do now is instead of tying it, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it in right here, okay? Go around a couple times there, there we go. And what I like to do is hide that nozzle in the ear there. And I'm left-handed and I always have favor going this way. And so at the end, what I will do one time is I'll take the print and I'll run it around the opposite ear, okay? Just to really take out any slack that was in there and we'll be good to go. Okay, all right, so right now he has no antlers. We're gonna fix that right now, okay? get that here let's see we'll put him looks like he might stay i think there's nope not on a static but he could have stayed like right there behind him like that oh you know what we'll do like the old uh the old parrot trick maybe it'll work yahtzee there you go oh and then i lose my balloon no come back there we go all right i swear i planned better than this all right here we go look about uh three fingers there three Two to three, you'll be okay. I'm gonna do a pinch twist, then we'll do a loop. There we go. I'm gonna go around one more time, right there. There we go, I like that. And then just uh, match that, and then do another one, another pinch twist. And you can let this balloon go right here, because it's gonna come undone anyway, okay? But you can kind of tell if you uh, if you look at it and you got good lighting, you can see kind of, it'll leave like a crease mark that you can follow, okay? That'll be your little uh, breadcrumb back when it when you get when it kind of twisted into the ears over here. Uh, okay, there we go. And last, see. So let me go ahead and break this off. Don't need that. Put this up here. There we go. Okay. And then we'll break this off. Okay. And again, if you have a cutter, go ahead and trim that baby off right there. Don't want that. All right, looking good. I like that. Okay. And then you see we got both of our segments here and went uh you know segment pinch twist loop went across remember uh, finding about the middle there and then we did the same thing over here where we reversed the order pinch twist loop finish with the segment there okay 
All right, I think we got it. Let me go ahead and split that in half. Box. Oh, it's pretty darn even. All right. Oh, yeah, I think it's really hanging on there. All right, now what I'm gonna do is just uh, install. Actually, I'm gonna go from the bottom. Start from the bottom. Okay. And now I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip them around there. And we'll be good to go. All right, and I want the antlers. I want them sticking out. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And so you can do, you know, th this looks pretty cool. I'm using a 260 for the antlers, but you could definitely use a, you know, if, if you want your preference, you could definitely do uh, 160 instead. You know, it's really up to you on, on, on what you would like. But I didn't have any 160s. I didn't stock them uh, this time because I had, uh, you know, when I was making this, it was coming out just fine using the 260. So last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and color the nose red and we'll be good to go. Let's color this baby in. The most exciting part of the video <laughs> is the coloring of the... Oh, man. Oh, man. Like, like, uh, like first time, I don't know, for the ladies, you know, first time putting on your lipstick or trying, or if you're a face painter, for first time trying to paint someone's lips like I got inside of the lines there. Boo! Thumbs down for that. Wait, no, please don't thumbs down the video for that. <laughs> I promise you. I was paying attention. I just not, you know, being as meticulous. So anyway, there it is right there. Now you know how to make it again. Uh, trim off those, that fringe, you know, um, it's, it's cool. It's cool if you own a jacket that has fringe, but you don't want balloons with fringe if you can help it. There it is. So um, I thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed yourself learning this cute little radio that you can make using the print. Nice and consistent, nice and easy. Um, I think that's it. I'll bring it to a close. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Happy twisting. Bye.